everyone. This is Ashley Jones, and in this tutorial, we're going to talk about two color fonts that are built into Perfect Embroidery Pro, My Quilt Embellisher, and Word Art and Stitches. So I've already have a font on the screen, and then we'll add one um, again in a moment. But I want to talk about how these work. You can see that this font has a uh, blue and red. And when you bring in a two color font, the color chip that you have selected um, is the main color that it'll come in on the font. And then the color to the right, it will um, make the secondary color. So in this case, um, it has taken on color number one in the bottom color chips here. And the secondary color is color number two. So if I want to change the color of this font, I'm going to select it and then I can uh, right mouse click on any of my color chips. Now whichever color chip I click on, it's going to take that color as the primary and the next color to the right as the secondary. So let's do uh, the green and the orange here. So I'm going to right mouse click on color number three and it's going to take on green and orange orange um, as the secondary. So that's how you use the two color fonts in uh, embroidery tool shed that come from Perfect Embroidery Pro, My Quilt Embellisher, or Word Art and Stitches. So let's go over to a uh, new page here. So I'm going to click a new page and let's bring in another because when you bring in this text, it actually takes on the color chip that you have selected. So if I select my um, text tool and I'm going to click one time on the screen. Now I already have a two color text selected, but if you want to change your text option or your font, you click on this um, the A and the B here in this window and it'll bring up your catalog. Now you can see I've got several two color fonts here. Here's one here. As I scroll down, uh, there's one there. Um, and in the monograms, there are uh, multicolored fonts as well. Some of them have even more than one color or more than two colors. And you can see I've got more there. And even down in the uh, puffy foam fonts, which come from my Word Art and Stitches software, those are two color fonts. And then the luxury font collection, which is my fonts all in purple also has some two color fonts. So in your font list, now your your list may be uh, different than mine because since I have all of Dime software, it puts all of my uh, fonts in this one uh, catalog. So if you don't have all of these, that just means that you may not have all of the pieces of software that I have. But if you own any program that has a two color font, then this would work the same way. So when I bring this in, you can see that it took on color number one and number two. Now, if I want to automatically bring it in with a different color, I'm going to delete this by selecting it and uh, pressing the delete on my keyboard. Now, say I want to bring it in using different colors automatically. I'm going to bring it in using this uh, five and six. So the color that you have selected below actually has a little box around it. It's hard to see on the number one because it's actually slightly a blue color for the box. So if I right mouse click to select the color uh, number five, the yellow, you might be able to see that it put that selection box around it now since it's a different color. So now with that selected, if I choose my text tool and click on my screen, it automatically brings it in with the primary color of the color that I chose. So now let's change this color. So now if I'm using uh, this color here and I want to change the color, I can simply select uh, the color on my color chip by doing a right mouse click and then it's going to take on that color and the color to the right as the secondary color. If those are not the two colors that I want, you can press the minus key if all you have on your, uh, your color um, chips, if all you have on your screen is the font, the text, if you hit the minus, it'll leave just those two colors. And then you can simply change those colors to um, whatever you want it to be. So maybe we change this uh, to the turquoise and maybe this is maybe a darker blue. 
Okay, if you have something else on your screen, so I'm going to click and drag this butterfly here. Um, and now you can see I've got all of the color chips for the butterfly and the text. When you hit the minus key, it will most likely put your text colors side by side. But if for some reason it doesn't and you want to force those to be a certain two colors, then I would just simply use the add color option here to the bottom right and then click two times to add two new colors. You can see I've got my 10 and my 11 and then change these colors to uh, the color that you want your text to be. So I'm going to click on uh, the number 10. That's a left click to change the color, a right mouse click to select it. So a left click opens up my color chart um, and we can change this color. So I'm going to do a red for the main color and click OK. And then I'm going to click on the number 11 to open up my color chart and let's choose um, this yellow and click OK. And now when I select my text, that's the two color, and I right mouse click on number 10, it's going to use 10 for the main color and 11 for the secondary. So right mouse click and there you have it. So hopefully this helps you with changing the colors of your two color um, fonts in Perfect Embroidery Pro, My Quilt Embellisher, and Word Art and Stitches.